so guys hello people welcome back again to my channel if you are seeing this beautiful face for the first time you're welcome to mona uzoma channel like i'm used to this for this vlog but <laughs> it's not mona uzoma okay so in today's video you guys have already seen the title yeah i'm going to um answer some of the questions about fabric business and these questions i got this question from my whatsapp group on my whatsapp group about fabrics and all the whole rest so this question i i asked some of my clients to send me most of the things they would like to know about fabrics and all the whole rest and stuff and i got a very interesting question i like i'm so 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 happy this question is so much interesting something that i want to share with people something i want people to learn from something that i have meaning to like one day i know that i'm going to send this to people look at how i started and all the whole rest so today i'm going to share this um beautiful answers with you guys but i don't think i'm going to say everything in this video because if i do spill everything in this video or more my data will just finish so i'm going to answer some and maybe i'll do a part two or a continuation or something like that so let's head into this video and meanwhile i have this um uh, my new baby here this um is and life and it's so nice you know you guys have been on my weight loss journey so i don't need something that is going to add me up on all the others but they said that this is so good i do take this or uh, holland this normal holland this is what i take for now as you can see that the weight loss is just showing my body you know guys see the way i'm glowing i'm glowing you don't even need to tell me i know that i'm glowing okay so let's get into the video first uh, for the first question we have is how do i start fabric business this question is it how do i start or how do you start um okay you know what i'm going to answer this question two in between how do i start and how do you start okay so the first question i'm going to ask her is my i'm going to answer is my how do i start okay my fabric business is not something that like i didn't know that i'm going to start a fabric business i didn't even know that i'm going to do a business seriously because when i was um younger when i was uh when i where, when i have not gotten married i was this kind of person that i did not want to do business like i never wanted to do business because to me business is very very stressful because my mom do sell um lace then so after secondary school time like after school then you have to be our skinny uniform I have to go into the market to help my mom so we know what we see then when her goods come back from china or um, we will fold clothes from morning to night like we will fold clothes we'll get tired of folding clothes so i'll be like ah, me i cannot do this kind of business because it's very very stressful and me i don't want something that will stress my life i like i didn't really need something that is going to stress me so i never wanted to do business most especially because being with my mom then and seeing everything and they suffer and the whole rest of the things make me to see like like business is not really for me so i was so, so surprised me going into this business that i rejected i was so, so surprised me making it in this business that was thing that is that hard so that is how this my family business started the main how i started everything was when i got married i'm this kind of lady that i don't normally ask like give me give me give me you understand i'm this kind of person that if i ask you something to give me something and you didn't give me and i keep repeating this for you keep repeating it for you like keep ringing it to your ear and you are not giving me that that thing i'm asking for i'll just lock up but to me it's getting me angry but i'll not like to tell the person even though i tell you that this is getting me angry like i'll be asking this thing for you you just do not give to me so i'll just lock up so i'm not gonna play with that if i want to do something i just do it with the money i have so when i got married i was seeing that this thing is part of what i'm seeing so i was like no you know what i'm just going to start business that is how that is how business of a thing came into my mind. Boom. Just on, on, I didn't even prepare. Like, I never prepared for it. That's how business of a thing started. So, with the mind and with the experience I had through my mom's selling, because through my mom lace selling, because my mom never even said Ankara. My mom just said lace. Me, so I didn't even learn how to, how to make this Ankara business. Like, I'm just telling the fact truth. I didn't learn it. This thing that you say you want to learn how to sell Ankara, me favor, I didn't learn it, but I just have experience of selling fabrics, which is lace. But lace and Ankara are quite different, very, very different. So that is how I started my fabric business. That's why I told my husband, look, look at what I want to do. And now said, okay, that's no problem. Now helps me, support me, open the business and all of that. So I said I'll be answering both. So the second one, 
like you want to start a fabric business because this question i don't really understand say so how do i start fabric business and how do me at all i don't understand but if you want to start a fabric business it's very very easy okay what you just have no what i would just advise is just love your business even not even fabric business or business if you want to start business have the passion of that thing like you have you really want to do business you have that passion some people go into um, this fabric business maybe they don't have store and they want to just um start marketing online and when they just market one two three they're not seeing customers they're not seeing clients you see them they will quit and that makes you be like fabric is not working or fabric is not cashing out money or fabric is not giving money is a lie you just have to have the passion because when you have passion of something you don't quit like you, you don't that quitting of a thing will not even ring to your ear because if i started how i started story for another day but just if you want to start fabric business it's very good have passion for it simple and you will make it so the question the second question i have is how much do i start with oh nice question mm. i told you guys i have lovely questions here um i won't tell you to start fabric business with five hundred thousand, with 100 with 200 with 1 million with 3 million with with what you have like i have so many clients now that i know that they started with twenty thousand there because i sell online so i have many of them that they start with 20 they'll tell me ah madam favor um please i just have twenty thousand there how many fabrics can i get with it i say okay i will calculate it for them when i calculate it for them you can get 20 you can get 10 you can get five you can get this kind of fabric just start from there like i'm so happy that i have helped a whole lot of people start business because there's the kind of place you will go they will tell you to bring hundred thousand there two hundred thousand there they will not even push you to do it they'll just wait for where you bring that billions to come and buy from them and they will not tell you hey, now you come no 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 you can start with what you have start when you start you can just market online tell your friends tell your friends that do tell you to every time you guys will come and sit down and be talking nonsense it's it's now time for that your friends to market that your business for you Tell your friends, eh, it's not time. Come, come and market my business for me. Not for you to just sit down with me and that's that shell action. The time you go, start marketing that business. Market it in your WhatsApp, market it in your Facebook. Market it everywhere for me. It's now, it's now that I need you as a friend. So, you don't really need to start billions or trillions with fabric. You can start with 20, you can start with 50, you can start with 60. Just market your business. So you market your business you start you like you be upgrading the way you be upgrading yourself like seriously i'm just telling you part of my experience you'll be very very surprised i'm just telling you then the second is is fabric business hard or um, more if i see myself you know that i don't even like something that will stress me so fabric business is not hard i'm just telling you the truth like i don't like anything that will stress me is that anything that will stress my life just cut me off i don't even know why it's like that like I won't say that it's my life. I won't say that it's a brutal war. Like, I won't just know. I don't just know. I don't know. Is it because of uh, my mom's business? That is why I don't like anything stress in my life. I don't just, like, I don't know. Just forget about that one. I don't know. But fabric business is not hard. To me, oh, like my business now, it's not hard. The only thing that I'm finding difficult is making customers to understand. Because there's a kind of clients you have, oh, your head will scatter. So you just become so stressful or get too annoying or something like that just to please a customer but they still don't understand that is the only problem i know i'm having about my family business but all the whole rest the business is so 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 sweet like i really enjoy the business really enjoy doing the business i'm still doing the business then um the fourth question i guess is different of fabrics and them ah um i'm not sure i'm going to start stating this in this video because if i start saying different of fabrics and them this video won't end there so let's, let's leave it for the other video so um second is price of fabrics ah. next video next in next video third best place to buy fabrics in naba okay 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 um to best place to buy fabrics in naba i will say that depending the kind of fabrics you want to buy but if it's for ankara fabrics aba um area international market is, is morely the best because you know why we don't have um direct importer like we do have importer so we have importer in our area but we don't have importer in shopping center so i would tell you that to buy ankara is mainly in our area then for laces you want to buy laces 
though we start we have started having importers from um, for lace in our area but the men and the first importers which um i know is in shopping center so lace is shopping center why ankara george um all this normal bridal and the whole rest is in our is sorry it's in our area but all these um bell materials all these things i'm wearing all these things is in shopping center so they are the best place to get but for fabrics and car it's a real international market see i'm not saying because i'm there i'm just telling you i'm just telling you the truth so the second question is good morning ma what is the wholesale price um we have different type of wholesale price of fabrics not one not two we have the one they sell one eight we have the one they sell two thousand we have the one they sell three thousand we have the one they sell five thousand the one of they sell six thousand which is ghana wax we have the one they sell um holland which is sell 30 40 like different prices and i wouldn't say that that is the wholesale price because i don't really deal with holland and all the whole rest i just do with ankara and ghana wax so i wouldn't really know the price of that biggest ones so number um, number five or number six i guess advice of advice for people who want to start family business i think this is going to be the last question what make your business bigger ah. mm. <laughs> many people want to know see it's just god i don't have any secret it's just grace I'm just telling you the truth. It's God and grace. Like, man, I'm not even bigger. Like, oh God, I'm not even the place I want to be. There's a kind of place I want to be in this my family business. There's a kind of level I want to reach. Like, I'm not even there. I've not even reached there. So me being here or me being now, or you guys seem that I'm big or something like that. It's just grace. I don't have any secrets. It's just like you telling um, a man where is your source of income. You're not thinking that the man is doing money you try. You follow the man to so follow the man like spiritual to know where the money ritual is and you just find the man is in chapel if you're a catholic you understand what i'm saying if you just find the man is in chapel praying that is just my secret now nah, i don't have anything doing but i would say that you just called then please explain the difference the difference of big and small fabrics explain the difference of big and small fabrics okay we have the one of one eight and not the one of five thousand there to you you know that you cannot compare something you bought one eight and something you buy five thousand there to be different and if you come in time of fabrics we have pure cotton 100 percent cotton maybe i may be inserting pictures here or here and i'll be stating the prices here or also here we have the one of one eight and the one of um five thousand what is it come go back See, how do you guys do in this having kids around and doing video? Eh? So sorry, guys. Only well, the one of one eight and the one of five thousand, but they will have the one of hundred percent cotton, and which is the five thousand naira is hundred percent cotton. But the one of one eight is also cotton. Understand what I'm saying? It's also cotton, like full cotton. Like let me just shock you now that that one of one eight is the one making history now. Like. Is the one booming now because when you go to Ashebis, when you go to barriers, when you go to um occasions, there's a kind of photos you see, you see them wearing them, and they so much have a whole lot of lovely designs. Like if you see this one of 1800 naira, oh my god, that designs is like top notch. The designs are so 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 beautiful. Don't worry, I would like to insert some pictures for you to see that designs. And let me just shock you that they last they do last i have the one that i sold about two years ago which is still intact now that nothing i don't even know what, okay i have the fact that this have been like um two years or one year and i made this fabrics and it's so lovely it's still intact nothing like fade up you can't tell me that i've been wearing clothes and i'm not washing it. it's not possible so i've been washing this fabric and it's still intact so the main problem is if you are buying this kind of fabrics, if you are buying fabrics of 1,800 naira, just know the brand you are buying. To me, know the brand, like the name, if you don't understand what is the brand, the name, because they have, each name have, um, each fabric comes with a label, know the label's name. So if your customer love um, the fabrics, continue buying it. Don't be the kind of person that you buy this label tomorrow, you go and buy this label next tomorrow. You know, there's that, there's, there is that kind of people who, they don't stick in one and fabrics they they buy many many like you be asking yourself ah what is going on but when you have 
particular label you buy and customers love it continue buying so you don't spoil your business even though you want to try for another one you also see whether the customer also love it if your customers still love it you also buy them making them to just be checking don't go to market start picking on the whole range so that is it. um secondly is how do one start fabric business please there is i need answer i've already said how uh, i've already answered that question already okay so they thought uh, the last one is advice for people who want to start fabric business so this is going to be the last question but i skipped some questions which i don't think that if i start explaining them here all these things like this i'm just watching at my this but i don't want this video to be very long but the last is going to be advice for people who want to start a fabric business so let me not just say this is going to be advice for people who want to start a fabric business i'll just say this is general advice for people who want to start business okay Hmm. this is just going to be generally if you want to start a business the first thing you have to you have to do is just work hard this business of, of a thing is also like this youtube you understand you don't quit you just keep working like me even i started my family business hmm. see people are even making it now because now there's so much competition now and now um if you go online, sorry, if you go online, you will see many people selling fabrics, okay? So, now everything is now opened. When I started my fabric business, I, like I was a novice, a pure novice. Nobody was doing anything online. I started my own online. I used my brain, I used my head. I normally see people post slippers, gowns online. So, when I entered online, I said, ah, it's going to be good for me to just start posting this is my fabric business. When I started, I post like two months. Nobody was even asking me. Was like, was like, was like, like nobody was even asking me. Are you selling or are you buying? I'm just telling the fact truth. But I keep posting for that two months. I keep posting. I keep posting to that favor and Kara word. Like if you go to Facebook now, just type favor and Kara word. It's going, it's going to pop out. To so that name started like people start hearing that name. People start uh, hey, They now trust to buy from me without this uh, payment on delivery. No. So you, kept, you just for me oh, just keep pushing hard just keep doing anything you are doing don't mind whether you are you are you are doing it or you're you are going you are going higher or you are going down or yeah, there is no return keep doing it so me just tell you see when that thing will pay hmm. when that thing will pay when that's your pushing will, will pay for you yourself you'll be surprised like me now when i said this thing the first woman that bought from me the goods of four million plus is from Malaysia. That woman is from outside country. She was the first woman that patronized me. And I was so so surprised. The woman paid that kind of money into my account. Me that be posted for two months. I didn't say anything. Even more than that. But that woman chatted, she trusted me. She paid into my account. The second person that also paid to my account is a Yoruba girl, Pamela, which I will never forget her so far. She bought a goods of eight hundred and something thousand. And she said, Tell her, she bought that kind of goods for me. She trusted me. So when that thing will start paying you, so you you'll be very, very surprised. Yourself. There's a time I'll be like, I'll tell my husband. Look, 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 look. Someone that paid me into my account also be like, it's a lie. When I see my husband, they are lying. My husband said, ah, we saw me. Everybody was like, then I was suffering. One day I was posting, ah, nobody was returning with me, but now they are starting their income. They now know that what I'm doing, I'm not wasting my time. So that is the advice I have to give anybody, not even if someone that wants to start a family business, anybody so far. Just stay um, consistent, post, value your customer most especially, and just. Just pray, that is the only thing. So, the next video, so the next question I'm going to still answer in the next video. So, please check out for the next video. So, see you guys in the next video, okay?